The Trooping the Color Annual Parade celebrates the birthday of the reigning monarch every June, though the king's actual birthday falls on November 14. This year's Trooping the Color was an extra special occasion for the royal family since it marks King Charles's first birthday parade as monarch and the first since Queen Elizabeth passed away. Last year's birthday parade was also special, as it coincided with the late Queen's historic Platinum Jubilee celebrating her 70th year on the throne. Yesterday's parade also included another major royal milestone, the monarch joined the parade by riding in on horseback. The last time Queen Elizabeth II rode in on horseback was at the 1986 parade. Senior members of the royal family, such as Queen Camilla, Prince William, Princess Kate, Princess Anne, and more, followed the procession either by horseback or carriage. The event finished off with the family appearing on the Buckingham Palace balcony as they witnessed the RAF fly past. The Queen travelled by carriage from Buckingham Palace down the Mall to Horse Guards Parade at St James Park, riding in the Ascot Landau with Kate Middleton, Princess of Wales, Prince George, Princess Charlotte, and Prince Louis. To mark the special occasion, Queen Camilla donned a striking red silk coat dress that drew inspiration from the tunics worn by the Grenadier Guards, the Household Division Regiment for which she recently assumed the ceremonial role of Colonel. The look reflected her rank with epaulettes, the grenade fired proper, embroidered in gold bullion on the collar and gold bullion backslashes. Enhancing the ensemble, Queen Camilla topped the look with a black Philip Tracy paying homage to the iconic bearskin hats of the Grenadier Guards, complete with a feather plume. Kate Middleton looked absolutely stunning. In celebration of King Charles's birthday parade, the Princess of Wales chose a specially tailored green coat dress designed by Andrew G.N., paying tribute to her position as Colonel of the Irish Guards. She complimented the ensemble with sapphire and diamond earrings that once belonged to Princess Diana, along with the Irish Guard's distinctive gold shamrock brooch. To complete her look, the Princess of Wales styled her hair in an updo, perfectly pairing it with a hat by Philip Tracy. The Wales children travelled in the carriage alongside Princess Kate and Queen Camilla before joining the other senior working royals on the balcony. To suit the event, Prince George and Prince Louis dressed in matching navy blazers and red ties. Prince George wore a complete navy suit, while Prince Louis paired his blazer with red shorts and tall navy socks. Princess Charlotte appeared beautiful in a white dress with long sleeves, adorned with red accents on the collar, belt, and sleeves. She also wore a red neck bow that matched her outfit. In terms of references, Kate Middleton's outfit was a nod to Diana's green Catherine Walker dress with a white trim that she paired with a matching hat for the Trooping of the Colour in 1988, as well as to the last appearance Queen Elizabeth ever made on the Buckingham Palace balcony during her Platinum Jubilee weekend last year on June 5. For that appearance, Queen Elizabeth wore a coat and dress by Stuart Parvin and a matching hat by Rachel Trevor Morgan. Kate's entire outfit, in a strikingly similar shade of emerald green, mirrored the late monarch. Both coats featured strong shoulders and embellished buttons down the front. Each wore brooches with deep significance. While the other members of the royal family were riding in carriages, King Charles, Prince William, Princess Anne and Prince Edward all wore their military uniforms and rode on horseback. Sophie, Duchess of Edinburgh, rode with Sir Timothy Lawrence, as both Prince Edward and Princess Anne rode on horseback in the parade. She re-wore a Balula London midi dress and a Jane Taylor wide-brimmed ivory hat that she had already donned to the Royal Ascot in 2014. Prince Richard, Duke of Gloucester and his wife Birgitta, Duchess of Gloucester, were in a carriage, too. 
The Duchess was wearing the same dress and hat she wore on the 9th of May for the celebrations of King Charlie's coronation. She wore a dark brown straw hat and a brown and white striped linen dress. Following their return to Buckingham Palace, the royal family assembled on the balcony for a beloved photo opportunity, the flypast. King Charles, Queen Camilla, and other members of the royal family directed their attention towards the sky as planes performed an aerial show above them. In an unexpected and delightful moment, the planes skillfully maneuvered to form the initials, CR, representing King Charles's name. The letter, C, represents Charles, while, R, symbolizes, Rex, the Latin term for king. The monarch officially signs his name as, Charles R. Happy birthday, King Charles.